Welcome back to The Kiosk Presents. My next guest, you know her from movies like Sin City, Seven Pounds, and as Mimi and Rent, Rosario Dawson. Welcome to The Kiosk Presents. Thank you. Hi. Now, you're in the new movie called Gimme Shelter. You play the mother, June. It's a pretty heavy, gritty movie. Tell us a little bit about what Gimme Shelter is about. Um, Gimme Shelter is um, actually based on a true story. Um, there is a place that's run by a woman named Kathy in New Jersey that's a shelter for homeless girls who are pregnant. And um, she is a resource for them to be able to get off the streets and have their kids and, and you know, help get, give them like a leg up on life. And I play June Bailey, um, who is a drug addict who had a little girl when she was a teenager who did not find this resource um, and was really abusive towards her daughter. And that's um, Apple, played by Vanessa Hutchins, who escapes from that life and finds out she's pregnant and um, ends up at the shelter um, getting a second chance at life. Um, and it's uh, it's it's. It's pretty gritty, it's pretty raw, we really went into it, um, but I think it's um, really beautiful to see when people choose each other, you know, choose the family, the chosen family, and there, there are strangers out there sometimes who can love you better than your own mom, that they exist, and um, that, you know, if you take the time to find them, you can transform your life. Now, I know you're involved with several different organizations and charities, and several of them do deal with um, uh, abusive people who've been in abusive situations and things like that. Is that what drew you to this movie? Um, a lot actually drew me to this film. My mom was 16 when she got pregnant with me, um, 17 when she had me. Um, she very easily could have been that same person had my grandmother not been the person that she was who did not kick her out in the street and told her that she still loved her and that she could do anything. And I was raised to have that same sort of love, even though our circumstances were really rough and dire sometimes, um, we were able to transcend that. And it just really touched me on this sense. You know, this is a woman, I play a woman whose circumstances really got the best of her and who couldn't transcend it. And uh, I had a lot of compassion for that because I have a lot of family members who have struggled with drug addiction for many, many years and watched how that completely corrupted their whole lives. You know, they lost their spouses, they lost, the, they, they, they're not in their children's lives in a meaningful way, they, they, they screwed up their careers, and just how devastating the effects of all of that can be. And my mom, having worked in a shelter, Women's Inc. in San Francisco when I was 10, and Housing Works here in New York for many years, um, you know, it just really just touched them. You know, it's one of the reasons why I do some of the work I do um, with V Day and the Lower East Side Girls Club is to kind of, kind of build on that. And so it felt really amazing that I could do that in a film for the first time and not do it from the perspective of someone who's being an advocate for anti-violence, but actually someone who's in the midst of it and hasn't been able to see the light. So I think that's important sometimes to show when we fail, you know, when we don't get it in life. That's an important kind of experience to watch in a film sometimes as well. So it is a very gritty and emotional film, but you get that, that sense, too, that there is help out there. It gives people a little bit of hope as well. I hope so. You know, I think, you know, I, I, I remember having that epiphany as a 10-year-old. You know, my mom was really poor. We didn't have very much at all to offer. But I understood that, you know, that's actually the greatness of humans, you know, and, and I grew up with poor people helping poor people. It's not always when you're in a life of position and, and success and privilege that then you're able to kind of go, I can give. You know, it's if that were the case, there would have been so many people who would be hurting every single day. But it's thank goodness to people like Kathy or like my mom who said, you know, as you're there and you've been in this abusive relationship and, you know, this person's been beating you up for years, but today they hit your children and you just said enough. And now you're showing up in the middle of the night, knocking on a door, hoping that the stranger behind it will accept you. And the reality that those people do exist, you know, it's unfortunate that, you know, not everybody's mom loves their baby, you know, and, you know, and, and that, you know, parents mess up and, but there are people out there, there are strangers who are still going, you know what, I know you have no reason to trust me, we're not related and everyone else has let you down, but there's a warm bed inside and I can, I can help you out if you trust me and you, want it, and you want it, you know, and that relationship, those types of things are really beautiful. Having played Mimi, you know, and, and, and like that character of, you know, someone who's a drug addict and she's got HIV and AIDS and she's a stripper and she's all of this, but she finds her chosen family. That's the really sweet, like romantic version of it. But I feel like June that I'm playing in this film is Mimi without that family, you know, and she didn't get HIV. She got, she got pregnant instead and she didn't get to make it. She didn't like die and then have a happy singing song at the end. She's actually really lost. And that's what can happen when there's those, th that chosen family doesn't show up for you, when you don't have that village that it takes to raise a child, not just for your child, but for you. 
Well, it sounds like such a great movie. We're looking forward to seeing Gimme Shelter here in Buffalo in Western New York. Rosario Dawson, thank you so much for joining us here again on the, West, on the Kiosk Presents. Awesome, thank you.